Good morning, it's Fun Facts Friday. And this week's fun fact, we're gonna head up to Lake City, Colorado, near Cannibal Plateau. This story is definitely kind of crazy, but adds to some spice of the Colorado history we have here. If you remember, or if you grew up in Colorado and remember your Colorado history, you'll remember that Alfred Packer was sentenced to jail for murder and, of course, cannibalism. <laughs> Alfred Packer was a miner and he supplemented his mining efforts with um, being a guide to other miners and travelers through Colorado and Utah. In the year 1873, Alfred went out with a group of about 21 men and they started their trek from Utah to what is Breckenridge, Colorado but they only made it to Montrose when the winter was so harsh and they ended up at a Ute uh, Indian camp and the Indians there told him, don't go any further, wait until there's a break in the storm. But Alfred decided, him and five other men decided that they would, you know, uh, they would try their luck and continue the journey. As they continued into the wilderness, the the winter got a lot harsher and the men eventually um, ran into some hard times. But the story turns a little twisted and gruesome when Alfred Packer was the only one to emerge out of the mountains two months later. Suspicions grew when Alfred had an unusual amount of money and some of the possessions of the other hikers. So when he was brought in for questioning, he confessed that the, he had lost the other four hikers and the other hiker that survived with him, Bell, had gone mad and tried to kill him. So he shot him and killed him first. And after several days of being lost and starving, he only he had to revert to cannibalism and ate um, the man, Bell. After Packard's first confession, they probably, most people probably would have chalked it up to a sad circumstance. But when um, people went in and started finding the bodies all at one campsite, gruesomely eaten, that's when they took Alfred in um, and charged him with murder and cannibalism. But he escaped from jail and lived um, free for about nine years until he was caught again. And then when he was brought back in, his confession changed to one night at a campfire, they were all sitting around and Packard decided that he was gonna go out and try to find the trail so that they could get out of the cold and wilderness. And when he returned, the man Bell had gone mad and killed all the other uh, people in the group with a hatchet um, was boiling the men's meat <laughs> in eating it. And when he saw, and so when Bell saw Packard return, he tried to kill him with a hatchet and Packard just um, killed him, shot him twice and killed him. And then only after a few days of um, being lost and starved, did he resort to cannibalism. But he was still sentenced for murder and cannibalism in the jails. But he was released from prison about 18 years later, and he continued to live his life in Colorado. Alfred maintained his innocence until 1907 when he died in Colorado. Nobody really knows the truth of what happened up on Cannibal Plateau, but forensic scientists have um, uncovered that possibly Packard's second confession was probably more closest to the truth. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> if you're out camping near Lake City or anywhere up in the mountains, Breckenridge or Montrose, maybe you can sit around the, the uh, campfire and tell this gruesome tale of Alfred Packard. Um, if you enjoyed this fun fact, please press the like button and subscribe so that you can get these fun facts into your email box every week. And until next week, have a safe, warm, and enjoyable weekend.